All right, newbies, listen up. Welcome to Destiny. Now, if you're just starting out in the world of Destiny, then there's going to be a lot you missed out on from year one. Lucky for you, our orientation here is going to fill you in on all the experiences you missed out on and get you up to speed. Plus, we'll show you what you can expect going forward. Any questions? Do people still play this game? Are there any other questions? All right then. See this? This is a Gallahorn. People are going to try and convince you it's pronounced Yallerhorn, but it's not. Other acceptable pronunciations are Ballerhorn, G-Horn, Glory Hole, and Gallahor, but never, ever Yallerhorn. At one point in time, it was the most sought after weapon in the game. Made men out of children and could put hair on a woman's chest. Not sure why you'd want that, but the point is it was a total beast. Total annihilation. At times, it caused grown men to squeal like little girls when they got their hands on one. And this, this is called Revenant. Best shader you could get year one. Corporal Punishment back at the tower got his when he hit level eight with his dead orbit faction. I got mine when I hit level 34. Yeah, that's right, level fucking 34. And that's back in the day when you can only earn rep with one faction at a time. Uphill, both ways, in the goddamn snow. But at least I earn my shit and I wear it with pride. Men before you would play this game for hours upon hours, chasing after these things and more, only to be let down time and time again. Someday soon you'll have your own white whale you'll be chasing after, all while praying to earn Jesus not to be let down, which you will be. You'll do the same things over and over and over again, just hoping to get that one drop you want, only to be let down again and again and again. You'll swear you'll never play again, but you will. It's like a finger flick to the balls. The pain is sharp, but it fades with time. And you'll be back. They always come back. Remember, recruits, you're playing a game that was built on the blood, salt, and tears of those that came before you and whined and complained until they got what they wanted. You'll never know the feeling of giddy excitement when playing through the original story for the first time only to have no clue what the f is going on and end up thinking that was it. I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. And then having to wait months for more story that never really came. You'll never know what it's like to be killed over and over and over again for months in the crucible by basically one weapon, Suros. Only for that to be replaced by the frustration of getting killed over and over and over again for months by unskilled little bitches using only one weapon, Thorn. You'll never know the utter PvE domination that was the Black Hammer, the Icebreaker, or the Galahor before they were nerfed. Those weapons used to cause every bullet sponge boss in the game to shit their collective pants the moment they saw you coming. And let's not forget the Loop Cave, that spot in Skywatch where you could sit and watch Ingrams rain down until some trolls came along and got it shut down. Speaking of trolls, be thankful you'll never have to experience one of the biggest trolls of them all, that bastard Raoul. That prick used to make a living off a of Guardian's tears when he would give absolute junk for legendary Ingrams until we took his ass to HR and filed a complaint. Remember, newbies, we're the guys that went in blind to Vault of Glass, Crota's End, and Prison of Elders, and figured out how to beat Atheon, Crota, and Skolas just to show you and the rest of the world how it's done. Hell, we got so bored of kicking their ass, we used to push the Templar and Atheon off the map. And then we got really lazy and would just pull the Ethernet cord out on Crota. Ah, those were the days. You know what else you missed out on? Working on a raid for hours, possibly even going flawless, and being so close to beating it only to have the rage glitch out on you. Atheon used to glitch out so bad in so many different times and ways, people would break their controllers or headsets mid-raid. And don't even get me started on Crota chasing people back into the crystal room. Although I gotta say, that lamp explosion glitch was pretty sick along with supermanning that bridge. Also things you missed out on. 
In my day, we had to get to level 20 and then find armor that enabled to get us up to max level. We only got one ghost and that was it. His name was Dinklebot, and everyone had to listen to him say this line like a bazillion times. We've woken the hive. He didn't even give us any bonuses or perks. He did nothing except take up space in our inventory screen, or trip alarms and make us fight waves of enemies till he opened the door. Hell, eventually he just went mute and didn't even bother saying nothing for two old DLCs after we got him. But we had some good times. We used to have to literally farm for materials. You couldn't buy Spirit Bloom. If you wanted Spirit Bloom, you had to spend about four hours on a Saturday farming for that shit until you had enough to level up one item. Then guess what? You had to go farm some more. Oh, and that's just for one material. I'm sorry, did you want spin metal? We'll go to a different planet and learn where that farming run was located and spend a couple hours there too. But you know what? We met some really cool people and made some friends running those farming hoe trains. Hell, still play with some of them to this day. For a couple weeks, we relived those days when the ether chest came out before House of Wolves. Those were some of the funnest times. We used to get six people on Venus and race as fast as you could on your sparrow to hit the chest multiple times before the timer ran out. God, that was awesome. Funny thing is, if you didn't time it right, your sparrow would end up blocking you from opening the chest. When you tried to open the chest again, you would accidentally hop on your sparrow instead. Talk about frustrating. Am I right? I guess you had to be there. In the coming days, Guardians, know that you will not have the same experiences as us veteran year one players. Those days and those experiences belong to us and are over and gone. But, you will have your own experiences. You will experience the highs and lows of all that is destiny. You will not only learn, but also experience new words like wipe, and cheese, and lag, and RNG, and LFG, and nerf, and many others. You will have your own version of the Necrochasm, a weapon you expected to be so amazing it would justify the insane amount of work and luck to obtain only to have it end up being one of the single biggest wastes of time you've ever experienced. You will find your own cheese spots only to see them patched, your own expectations crushed by false leaks and information, and the lag. Wow, get ready for that lag. And then the day will come, Guardians, and you'll see all the Christmas noobs wandering around aimlessly, not knowing what to do. And then you can turn to them and tell them about your experiences, about your stories, while you Sherpa them through an activity and become a god in their eyes. Look around you newbies, this is your fire team. You'll play with them again and again, doing the same shit again and again and again. They'll become more than just your teammates, they'll become your friends. They're gonna talk about life, about school, about work about the world and the things you're going through. They're gonna talk about strategy, about wiping, about cheesing and reviving and not dying. And in the end, they will be the reason why you even play the game anymore. You will love and hate this game all at the same time. Hell, you may even delete it off your system in a fit of rage, only to reinstall it 10 minutes later after jonesing for some destiny with your friends like someone on crack looking for their next fix. That's why people call it Crackstony. Destiny's not about the story. It's not about the multiplayer. It's not about the missions or the strikes or the raids or even the loot you chase after and never get until you buy some hand-me-downs from Zerg. It's not even about all the flaws people love to mention or constantly complain about. Destiny's about the experiences and the fun you're about to have with your friends while doing all those different things and more. So as you can see, Guardians, there's a lot you missed out on in year one. And that doesn't even cover everything that you missed. We don't have all day to sit around and talk about the past. Year two is here. It's time for you to go out there and create your own stories you'll tell the newbies who come after you. Oh, one more thing. 
Make sure you watch out for that lag. It's terrible, I'm telling you. All right, you're dismissed. 